I've been taking photos for the past six years and it's kind of crazy to see my journey as a photographer. I started off in nature and doing landscapes and then I moved on to night photography, actually quite heavily into night photography. And then it turned into a bit of cars and then street photography, travel photography, astrophotography. Oh, portraits. Portraits as well. I like taking photos of people. I really came into car photography. <laughs> It's so fun. I mean, like, who, let's be honest, who doesn't? Unless if you're not a guy. Guys and monkey brain like engines go fast. I really love getting into the motorsport industry and it's been a dream of mine to attend one of these races. I finally had the opportunity to do so. What I didn't have coming into this experience was the experience of tracking cars and getting those panning shots where the background is blurry and the car is tack sharp. It's something that I've really struggled with. I've practiced many times before. I've tried it on trains, I've tried it in the city, just standing on a corner trying to track cars going through an intersection. And it seems like I've always failed at getting that type of shot. I, I don't know why, I just never felt like I got the settings down right and the movement and everything. And I love the idea of panning. I love the photos that you can get out of it. I love the different types of edits that you can put towards it. I've always tried this and I've tried and failed. I've failed so many, so many times. And I finally found that having an opportunity to go to the Bathurst 12 hour motorsport race, oh boy, that was a good opportunity to finally practice and nail the skill. To step into the different area of my passion, which is cars, which is speed, which is racing. As I'm sitting here right now, I'm about to watch the F1 this weekend. So I'll give you a breakdown of the weekend because what led up to getting these types of shots on the race day, there was a lot of prep that was happening on day one and day two. Now for the races, that was practice and qualifying day. For me, it was practice, 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 because I had no idea what I was doing to be honest with you. And I really started by just getting warmed up. And as you saw in my last video, I walked the pit lanes. I was able to get really cool garage shots of these cars. The highlight of my day was my camera being signed by Valentino Rossi. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go have a look at it. Yeah, here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe another color. Yeah, maybe another, another color. color. Uh, black on black. Valentino Rossi is such a cool guy. Awesome, awesome time, awesome start to day one. Day two started and that was half practice and half qualifying. They start the race at the bottom in the pits. There's a massive straight and then we twisties all the way up the mountain. Where I was, was just the last corner and then there's this massive straight. Then they start rocketing down the mountain going about 200 kilometers per hour, it was insane. And I really got some really good shots on day three, which I'll show you later. But for day two, I was just practicing up on that straight at the top of the mountain and just panning and whipping my body across and just trying to practice different shutter speeds and trying to break some rules and understand some rules of how to pan and how to track a car. Now, if you guys are interested in a video explaining the settings and the techniques that I use to get this shot, let me know in the comments. Now, all that practice on day two came together for race day. Where I started was at the bottom of the mountain, right before the sun was rising, because they had started at 4 a.m. I was there taking some long exposure photography because I couldn't really do anything else to be honest with you. I haven't really gotten much GoPro footage of this time because it was too dark and to be honest the GoPro quality at night isn't the greatest. I'll have a video coming out for that a little bit later. After I got some really cool long exposure photos I noticed the sun was rising. You can't take the landscape photographer out of me. <laughs> I took this really cool shot of a tree with the sunset right behind it. And then I started to move up the mountain essentially. And I was stopping periodically, taking some shots of the cars coming through. I did find a media hole as well that I was able to not exactly sneak into, but I got a media hole and I was able to take some really cool shots of the cars as they just break through one of the chicanes. Now I eventually made myself back at the top of the mountain and that's when I knew that it was time to track, it was time to pan for these cars. And I really put all my skills that I was practicing in day one and day two to the test. And boy, 
when it clicked, I got the perfect shot. I did try and do different styles. I really wanted to use my 105 mil, for example, and get it really close to the cars and try and single them out. But I noticed the 105 wasn't really getting a good panning shot. It was too punched in. Now I switched to 85 mil and everything changed after that. I started to pop off shots just every single time a car would go by. And it was at that point where I was really dialed in. I knew the body movements. I knew the settings that I had to use. Everything was just working out perfectly. And then it started to rain as well. Oh my God, to track in the rain and to see the rain coming off the spoilers and you can see the aerodynamics behind the car as well. I got some mad shots of the cars as they were going through this straight. One of my favorite ones was in the wet, they were overtaking beside each other just before they got to the edge of the mountain. And I got them on the very end of the frame and it looked so cool because you can see the streak of all the water and the aerodynamics in that water as well. Now I can tell you this right now, as soon as I got that one car, in focus, perfectly center in my frame. I got all the other cars consecutively, perfectly in that same spot. And that's how you got to see the mash cut at the very beginning of this video. I never realized or intended to do a match cut sequence. Lo and behold, it worked out perfectly like that because as soon as I took that one photo, all the other cars just lined up. Now this was a shot that completely cemented the entire weekend. It was a great weekend. All the photos that I took were some of the best photos that I've taken. I'd love to use these photos as a stepping stone into other areas of motorsport. I wanna go to the F1. I wanna go to the Bathurst 12 hour again. I want to wear a media vest, and I'm going to take you guys there with me. This was my first. It was so fun. I loved it. I loved it so much. Subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the photos, and if you want to see that other video of me going through how I took these panning shots. Have a good one.